morning morning you guys today is tuesday march i don't know i'll just put it on the screen i don't know because the days are flying i feel like i don't know but anyway so today is gonna be a day in the life with twins as y'all know the twins started daycare however today they have a doctor's appointment so i'm keeping them home and i was like you know what let me do a day in the life with twins because I haven't did one since. I want to say since they've been six months. I think that was my last one. And a lot has changed since then. So, yeah. I'm sorry for the light change. I'm walking out in my room now. But they are up. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Come on. You okay? You okay, Papa Bia? You okay? Hi, good morning, mamas. Good morning. Uh -huh. I'm you go get your bottle, girl. I'm not gonna go into too many details about my morning routine because I literally just put up a daycare, um, get ready with us for daycare. Today, I'm really not feeling it. Like honestly, I'm not. I do not feel like going to their appointment. I do not feel like getting them ready. I just don't. So last night, that's why I did not prepare their clothes, which I should have. But we moved. Um, you know, they haven't had their one year checkup yet, which they needed. Unfortunately, their dad is not going to be able to come with me this time. So I'm all in this day on my own. So, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make my bed because, yeah, I like coming back to a make bed. guys i have to go ahead and get ready please i i encourage you if you would like to see my is like full how i get them ready everything like that please go watch that get ready with us for daycare video because i literally just posted that the other day so that is 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 current nothing has changed since then and plus i need to go ahead and get the older kids ready so i'm gonna take y'all along with me throughout the entire day but just this little small portion for the sake of time if you interested in that go watch that and then come back to this video or watch this video and then go to that okay so <laughs> can you stop girl so the weather is supposed to be i think 65 degrees so i'm not oh, khalil Lord. so I think I'm gonna keep this part in here so y'all can see how hectic it really is. Okay. Hi, and Khalil just over here trying to bite, bite, bite. Okay, so like I was saying, y'all, we going to the gym first, but then, their appointment is after that, but I'm gonna come back home and get myself dressed, like wash my booty. Yes, how can I help you, sir? How can I help you, sir? How can I help you, sir? Why? 
Why? Is this your temper tantrum that you're supposed to be having? Stand up. Stand up. <sighs> Mommy just trying to put you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's why you be hitting your head. Mommy just trying to put Khalil. Okay. <laughs> Why do you think everything is so funny? Okay. There you go. All right, you guys. To the car. <laughs> All right, you guys. I am on my way to Legion. And I'm excited to work out today. So I gave the twins a bottle this morning when I told y'all that I was fixing a bottle. So that was at seven. The next time they probably should be hungry is around 11. So it's already, hold on my dad calling. So it's 9.01. I probably won't be able to get back to the gym until, I mean, I probably won't get to the gym until 9.15. Then I will have to take them in the gym. So my goal is to actually start working out by 9.30. Usually when I get to the gym, I like sit in the car just for a little bit because that just be my like a long time. And even if the twins are in the car, I still do it because they can't talk. So that'd be my long time. But today I have so much to do, so I really can't do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the gym, get there by 9.15, work, start working out by 9.30. So that give me a chance to get them out of the car, get into the, you know, take them to the gym daycare, which it doesn't take too long to do all of that, but it's just, it's not time consuming, it's just energy consuming, I'll say that. So, but yeah, prior to the twins going to daycare, you guys, this is what I was doing like literally all the time. I always took the twins to the gym with me all the time. Like, I didn't have, you know, I, I can't leave them at home and they weren't in daycare and their dad were nice so i had to do what i had to do but but um they actually like the lady at the daycare i only had one problem at the daycare at the gym daycare and that was with um a younger black girl that was their first time dealing with her and never never has the daycare ever had to contact me and be like you know, you gotta come get the kids because they keep crying and stuff. She was the first person. She was like, I gotta, mind you, I'm working out on a machine literally right in front of the gym daycare. So she called me and she was like, the boy keep crying. Excuse me? When I got there, it, it took, it didn't even take me a minute to walk to the, to the room because I was right there. Mind you, I don't, he, to me, I, I would have heard him because the door was open but when I got there his pants was wet so I was like well why is his pants wet and she was like oh because he was playing in the water what water so the faucet was not the faucet the water fountain was dripping water onto the floor and he was crawling around in it of course he's gonna be crying like you know he like Khalil doesn't like anything on him as far as like wetness like especially if it's cold cold wetness on his clothes he don't like sitting in his number two he don't like doing none of that so my thing is common sense lady uh maybe that's why he's crying but she was young and just yeah so that was the first time that i had an issue with it and I end up calling the daycare after that. And I ain't seen her since. So I don't know, child. All right, you guys. 9, 10. And I'm at the gym. But now I'm trying to... I'm, I need a part right here. 
but this truck is in the way. Can I get in here? I really don't think so. I'm gonna try. Let's see. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, I think I got it. Okay, people laughing at me, but guess what? <laughs> I got in. Okay, perks of having a small car. I got in. I got in. I got in. Laughing at me because she came out of her minivan right here. <laughs> Baby, I got a cop at good. I probably do need a mini bag for real, for real, but we, we ain't gonna talk about that. Trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this. So I'm parked fairly close to the gym. Like, I'm like, if I turn my camera around, you literally, like right behind this truck, that's where the entrance is. So, I really don't have to go far. Hold on. guys so we just left the gym i'm a little behind it's 10 46 But you see what I'm talking about? Like, I just give it to them and they eat it on their own. But sometimes if it get down to the point where it's like they can't suck no more, they'll think it's all gone, like right now. So I'll be having to push it up. Actually, I'm gonna sit down here and make sure that they eat this and then, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get ready. took a shower okay i'm out the shower i'm dressed now i need to get them ready because as you can see with her look at her look at her i don't think i'm gonna worry about her hair y'all i just yeah 
at him. Clothes, look at his clothes. Yeah. Mess. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and wipe their hands off and wipe their face. And then I'm gonna go ahead and change them because they haven't been changed since this morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Hey Siri. Mm -hmm. What time is it? It's 12:03 p.m. Are you gonna stay still for me, or are you gonna be like your sister? Or you gonna be like your sister? But the bit of the bit of ah. Boy, how in the world? You just was having fun when you was eating, won't you? You got it all on your shirt. I'm not changing your clothes, cause it's just what they gonna get. <laughs> so you have Kehlani that fights you when you're trying to wipe her off. And Khalil sticks his tongue out so he can taste the white. Cause you know how like usually babies kind of struggle walking in the shoes so i noticed that she does good with her vans and she like, today she has on some adidas because they're like more flat sole versus those that has like thick soles because she feel like she have to um at first when i first put these shoes on her she did kind of like she was walking funny because she felt like she had to lift her leg up so high but now she got it my baby got it So Khalil, he's doing good with walking with his vans. They're both doing good with walking with their vans, honestly. 
Khalil just, you know, he's still, he's not transitioning to walking because he's definitely walking, but he just still like to crawl sometimes. <laughs> okay. That's it. Let me see your nose. Oh, all good. All good. All good, Papa Bear. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and heat up their milk because I noticed they like it better when it's warm. So I'm going to go ahead and heat up their milk and then I'm going to head out. He will definitely roll over so I'm going to go ahead and put him on the floor and then I got to put his shoe on him. Even though I just, you, yeah, you, I just changed your diaper. Yeah, you know that? <sighs> Let me put your shoe on, boo boo, so it won't be on you know, when you're walking. Come here. I didn't even carry their um, car seat in here because I knew I was going to have to, you know. All right, you guys. Can y'all meet me at the door? Khalil. 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 He said forget you. Khalil. Y'all, I'm finally in the car. <clears throat> That was a workout, okay? Sorry for the angle. I'm on my phone, so yeah. But anyway, so I'm about to take them to their appointment as we already went over 50 million times. I don't know if, like, I'm a, 
not necessarily footage because of course how does it look like me putting the camera in the doctor face but yeah maybe i guess i'll let y'all hear the audio of them at their appointment and then i'm meeting my friend to go and eat we're going to boil bay so that's like a seafood place that has like the seafood bags so therefore when we go there y'all I sign the country. When we go there, y'all, <laughs> I'm gonna put them in their car seat. I mean, not in their car seat, in the stroller. The... And plus, they should be tired by then because they haven't taken a nap yet at all. And Kehlani was asleep on the way home from the gym, but she ended up um, waking up, you know, because we got home. So, yeah. So. <laughs> about to go to sleep because they barely they probably have slept a total of 
maybe 20 minutes today so i know they are tired so but i'm never doing that again it was so difficult trying to trying to keep them still well i know they ain't gonna be still but just trying to it, it's just too much taking their clothes off putting their clothes back on then it's like once they got their clothes off it's not like i could just sit them in the room and let them like walk around no you got to keep them on the mat which that's a difficulty within itself i'm never doing that again <laughs> usually i try to show y'all like that it's possible and it is possible if it have to be done by yourself but I, if unless it's absolutely necessary that I have to do that again, I am never doing that again. Or I'm not going in there without the stroller because I really should have took that stroller in there so that when the doctor was, you know, when I was waiting and stuff like that, I could have put them in a stroller and just had them sitting in there. But I let them, you know, that's the stroller is is definitely a necessity. It's definitely needed, but. You know, it's a lot. It's a lot. Unpacking that stroller, taking it out, putting it back. But I, it would have been less energy doing that versus me taking them in there, just carrying them and having to deal with them being all over the place. And another reason why I really don't like bringing the stroller in there is because the rooms aren't that big and that stroller is big. So it takes up a lot of space. So, and then we had what? Today we had in there, what? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five people in the room. So, yeah, anyway, that's over with, you guys. I'm not sure how much you all were able to hear or not hear, but long story short, um, she was telling me that the Similac that they're on, the Go and Grow, that is only really good for them right now simply because they're not getting all the nutrients they need out of the table food because they're not really taking the table food so she just said keep introducing it to them as far as khalil she was saying that we just need to keep an eye on the fact that he um he's not really like as social and doing different things like saying bye bye and clapping his hands and stuff like that so she was saying that you know it might just be his personality but she was saying that we do need to keep an eye on it um i really don't know if it's just his personality or if it's something that is a concern because he does what he wants to do like for example him saying bye bye i've seen him do it before but now then it's like i seen him do it probably like two times and then that's it <laughs> like he won't do it anymore and with clapping his hands i've seen him doing that also but he does it on his own he doesn't do it when he's like see me doing it and then he does it so i don't know khalil is just khalil that's all i can say khalil is just khalil then she was saying do i think it's any issue with the hearing and i was like i don't know because you know as i showed y'all earlier i'm calling his name and he straight up ignoring me but i don't know i know he can hear Cause when that Coco Mallet come on, he, he don't even have to be looking at the screen, his head turning, cause he hear the beginning part of it. So I know he can hear. So that's why I'm like, I feel like he just be ignoring me cause he wanna ignore me for real, for real. But anyway, I'm about to go eat you guys. And I'm probably not gonna vlog that because I'm pretty certain that they're going to be asleep in like 2.5 seconds. I just gave them some milk because they this will be their second uh, cup of the day of milk. And going to get something to eat and just enjoy myself my friend is moving out of the state so this is my last time seeing her before she leaves of course it won't be my last time seeing her but it's my last time seeing her before she leaves so i'm just gonna go enjoy that eat and i'm taking a stroller okay i will be damned if i let them come in there and sit in the high chair one because it's too much work and for two I took them into this place before and the high chairs don't have any straps. So the whole time I had to deal with trying to sit, make them sit down. And they won't have it. Cause baby, it was too much. It's just too much. It's just too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. You guys, I made it back home. I'm so tired. So their dad is gonna go ahead and give them a bath before he go to work. While he's doing that, I'm about to take my clothes off and rest. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna even put on no front. That's what I'm about to do. Rest. 
if you're interested in their full bath time routine i have a video on that also i'll link it above so y'all can watch that but while they took a bath i'm a rest <laughs> Y'all see the autumn shots on my baby. Their dad is giving them a bath. He does it the easy but long way. I do it the short but hard way. I do both of them. He does one at a time. <laughs> but it's a lot. They, they move a lot now. But y'all see all of these band-aids my baby got on them. So I'm gonna get them some Tylenol once they're done. But well, they definitely need their hair wash. Yeah. Y'all, I started. Look at her. What you doing? What you doing? You know that costs money? Do you know that costs money? Let you get a little bit, but now, uh uh. Go, go, go. Come on. So, mommy can take out your hair so you can be ready to get your hair washed. Come on. Okay, y'all. So. <clears throat> The twins are finally out of the bath. And I'm going to go ahead and feed them. Look at them getting all excited. I'm going to go ahead and feed them. They have two different ones today. So I'm going to do her with... It really don't matter, honestly. This is banana, blueberry, purple, carrot, Greek yogurt, and mixed grains. This is apple, mango, and strawberry. Hey, hey, hey. I don't know if y'all heard the doctor say earlier that, sorry y'all can't see me y'all, <laughs> but y'all can hear me. Um, I don't know if y'all heard the doctor say earlier that instead of giving it to them just via the pouch, try to actually spoon feed it to them to help their motor skills. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Then we just go through this. You know what it means. Come on. Listen, I ain't fighting with you tonight, okay? Either you eat this food, or you gonna go sleep on me. So sometimes you guys, I do experience this problem to where they, um, you see how she's crying because she want another spoon fed right now. And I'm like, I'm only one person. I have to feed both of y'all. Huh. Hey, Lonnie, you got to wait, girl. Okay. You're not the only one that got to be fed. Hey, Lonnie. Chill out. I guess that mean no. Trust and believe, y'all. I'm not about to sit here and fight with him tonight. He don't want it. He don't want it. Okay. He can drink that bottle. Shoot. Drink that bottle. I mean, drink that cup of milk and go to sleep. I'm tired. I'm going to get on from Tylenol. I do feel like they are a little sore. Because, um, can y'all look at my face until I'm done? I do feel like they're a little sore because when I was like lotioning them down after they bath, they was crying when I would touch those spots. But they both got their hair washed. So hopefully, in the morning, it looked like something. Because, whoo, child, after they hair dry. Y'all ready to go night night? Y'all ready to go night night? Y'all ready to go night night? Are y'all sleepy too? Y'all didn't really sleep. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay.
All right, y'all. I got their bottles. Look, they even know which bottles is this. Look, watch it. <laughs> Come on, Khalil. Your bottle. Come get it. What's wrong, boo boo? What's going on here? What's wrong? Okay, mommy, help you because you must be in pain. Mommy, go help you. Come on. Mommy love y'all. I love you. I hope your hair look like something tomorrow. But I love you. Go ahead. Sit back, boo boo. Go ahead. Lay back so you can drink your milk. Here. What's wrong? I think he's cranky. I just gave him some Tylenol, so hopefully, I gave him both some Tylenol, so, hopefully. Mommy, love you. I love you. All right. Good night. You guys, after a long, productive, no, a long, day i can't even say productive because i guess you can call it productive jim took the twins to the doctor went ahead lunch with my friend before she leaves came back gave the twins a bath made sure everybody was fed showered sleep now i'm so tired my eyeballs are are burning i'm so tired so with that being said you guys this is the end of the vlog I hope you enjoyed this day in the life with twins. This is typically how a day will go for me um, on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed and... I don't even know what to say. I'm so sleepy. I'm so sleepy. I really do feel like the twins are going to wake up in the middle of the night because they're in pain or something. I don't know. It's like 7 o'clock and I'm tired. So, their dad is gone. He's at work now. I'm going to sleep. I love you guys. Thank you for watching another day in life 24 hours with twins this wasn't technically 24 hours but i'm not doing um a overnight i'm not doing anything like showing you guys overnight because they don't wake up in the middle of the night anymore and when we wake up tomorrow it's literally <laughs> gonna be the exact same thing <laughs> as far as like in the morning time as far as like but tomorrow i'm getting them ready for daycare <laughs> daycare <laughs> i've did enough mothering for the weeks like nah but anyway y'all okay i'm just rambling i love you guys don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like this video leave a comment let's chat down below follow me on instagram at all things events and i will see you guys sunday bye